How annoying it is when alarm wakes you up from a super nice dream. Well, luckily this song is so good and it actually makes waking up way easier and more fun. The worst thing is to wake up to an annoying sound like... Yep, it immediately sets the path for a bad start of the day. And that's the last thing we want, right? So here's an epic hack. In the evening, before going to sleep, set your favorite song as the alarm. You have to open the clock app, click edit, sound and then choose the song you love. After having some sweet dreams, the next morning you will wake up to the sound of your favorite track. This will instantly put you in a great mood which is essential for a positive start to a day. Because kicking the day off happy is a foundation of a great day ahead. An awesome way to wake up your body instantly is to stretch and make 10 jumping jacks as soon as you get out of bed. Jumping jacks will speed up your heart rate and improve the circulation of blood throughout your body. They're simple, quick, yet very effective. Another thing I do every single morning when I wake up is to drink a big glass of water. After 7 to 8 hours of sleep your body is dehydrated and you need to replenish the fluids as soon as possible. So keeping hydrated is extremely important and not gonna lie, a cute water cup like this one helps a lot. While sipping on your water, try to write down one main goal for the day. It could be anything, like eat healthy, work out, finish up an essay for school, etc. Writing your goals down increases the odds of achieving them. That's because throughout the day you'll be reminded that you need to work towards accomplishing the set goal. Alright, it's time to jump in the shower. Since I don't have time to wash my hair today, I'm tying them in a high pony. Especially in the winter when our skin gets extra dry, a great hack is to use a shower gel which contains oil. Oils will keep your skin moisturized and soft, plus you'll be able to skip the after shower body lotions and save up quite some time. Another great trick to save some precious minutes in the morning is to store a face cleanser in the shower. Again, I use an oil-based face wash which works great for my super sensitive skin. After taking a shower, I put on my favorite dressing gown. It is so soft and cozy and on top of that, it has the cutest pair of ears on the hood. Ah, obsessed! If you store your toothbrush in a pot, you've probably noticed that it quickly gets moldy and yucky inside. So let's make a much cooler and more hygienic toothbrush holder instead. Take a tennis ball and an X-Acto knife. Make a longer, slightly curved cut on one side like that. Take a pair of googly eyes and glue them on. To make this body even cuter, let's add a little blue bow. Grab your knife again and make an X-shaped cut at the back. Be careful so you don't cut yourself. It's better to ask an adult for help if you're not used to using knives yet. Lastly, take a suction cup and push it in. How cool! You can now attach this cutie to any surface and it will hold your toothbrush, pens, pencils or even keys. Toothbrush pots get all moldy because of the water that drips from a toothbrush and collects inside. With a holder like this, any excess water will drip right into the sink and your toothbrush will dry completely and fast. So say hello to a much more hygienic toothbrush. Alright, let's wash our teeth. I've slightly changed my teeth brushing routine the past couple of months. First, I'm washing my teeth with a normal toothpaste, as always. After that, I dip my toothbrush into activated charcoal black powder. I've never whitened my teeth before because I'm just too afraid of those toxic chemicals. Even my dentist said that she wouldn't recommend it. This, on the other hand, is 100% natural and organic teeth whitener, so I thought let's give it a try. I know, I look like a horror movie character. <laughs> but it really leaves my teeth feeling super clean and white. Okay, we're done with the bathroom, so it's time to get dressed. Instead of storing clothes in piles, roll them and place close to each other in several rows. This way you'll have a much better overview and will definitely save lots of time and nerves when getting ready. When you really don't have time figuring out what you're gonna wear, the best thing is to opt for jeans. For a top, the easiest way is to go for a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. I love the color of this one. Since we have smuggled a bunch of makeup brushes in class, we also need some eyeshadows, right? And a watercolor paint set is a perfect tool to hide them in. Remove the color blocks from the container. Time to fill the empty slots with your favorite eyeshadow. These little refill pots fit in so perfectly. It's like they're meant to be stored here. I went for some neutral shades, some pinks and cool tones as well. Last but not least, let's replace the paintbrush with a makeup brush and our watercolor makeup palette is complete. And this honestly looks 100% legit, I am shocked. You can tailor your makeup palette exactly to your needs and fill it with colors that you use yes. the most. Share some of this makeup goodness with your besties because they deserve a fierce eye makeup too.
no, no miss. miss. Good. <sighs> I need more makeup. Hooray, my makeup is done and I'm very pleased with how it looks. Now it's time to talk about this crazy hair. Washing your hair every morning is A, not advisable and B, who has time for that? That's why it's always a great idea to have a cute headband for the rescue. Let's make one from scratch. Take a piece of fabric that is long enough to fit around your head plus a bit extra for the knot. Grab your fabric glue. As you can see, I'm doing a slight diagonal shape on the sides. Make sure to skip a few inches of fabric in the middle and do not apply any glue there. You'll see why in a second. Fold the bottom half of the fabric up and wait for the glue to dry completely. On the part where we haven't applied any glue, we're left with a small opening. That's perfect because we need it in order to flip our headband inside out. Lastly, let's seal that opening with a stripe of fabric glue and our headband is ready, looking stunning. This is a great way to recycle old shirts or other clothes. Headbands are super useful and nonetheless very cute. I like to make a double knot slightly tilted to one side of my head. It looks adorable, keeps the hair off your face and you can say goodbye to bad hair days for good. Did you know that you can build your favorite felt tip eyeliner in the usual coloring marker? Yes, and it works like a dream. Take the ink tube from the marker, pull the tip out as well. A pair of tweezers will make this job a lot easier. Take your favorite felt tip eyeliner, open it up, grab the trusty tweezers and pull out the tip. Just as in a marker, there's an eyeliner ink tube hiding inside. Take it out and grab the coloring marker housing. Pop the eyeliner ink tube inside. Now push the eyeliner felt tip inside the narrow opening on the other side. It fits like a dream, how exciting! Seal the back opening and put the lid on because you don't want your epic eyeliner to try out, right? There we have it, the most insane and awesome eyeliner I've ever seen. Who would have thought that we can transform a coloring marker in an amazing eyeliner? While making a neat cat eye flick may be pretty difficult, felt tip eyeliners are the easiest to work with. Although this may still be a challenge, especially if you don't have a mirror. <laughs> No stress, girl! Sneaking a mirror to class is actually super easy. Hmm, do you know what is this? It's just a simple colorful notes cube and soon to be a portable mirror compact. Open up the notes cube somewhere in the middle and a bit up towards the top. Use a bit of hot glue or double-sided tape to stick a small mirror inside the notes brick. Here's our epic notes cube mirror all finished and it looks amazing plus works wonderfully. From the teacher's perspective, it's literally impossible to see what you're hiding inside your pile of paper notes. On top of that, I love how easy it is to use. It opens up and closes just like the usual mirror compact which is exactly what we wanted. Making a perfect cat eyeliner is a piece of cake now, priceless! an emergency happens and we need to look extra pretty. An amazing hack is to use the usual coloring pencils as lipsticks. Pour some hot water into a glass and pop in your coloring pencils with a tip facing down. Wait for about 10 seconds and pick the color of your choice. I went for the classic red. Guys, look at this color payoff! These coloring pencils are literally working better than many of the lip liners and lipsticks that I own. I give this life hack a massive thumbs up. When the color dries, it looks exactly like a liquid lipstick, matte and it doesn't smudge at all. It's amazing! <gasps> Some mornings you don't even have time to brush your hair, right? Well, no worries, here's a cool hack to sneak a hair comb in school. Take a small notebook that has a spiral on one side and open it up roughly in the middle. Take a hair comb that is a bit smaller than the notebook. Next, grab your glue gun and apply a stripe of hot glue all along the comb. Now stick it to the spiral part of the notebook like this. Oh yeah, we got ourselves a notebook that has a built-in hair comb. <laughs> no problem if you don't have time to sort out your crazy hair in the morning. You can make it all perfect when you get to school. If your hair 
hair likes to get all tangled and weird during the day or after the PE, this DIY is a must try. Have you noticed that hair chalk looks exactly the same as the classroom chalk? I definitely did and this idea was born. Take the school chalk out of the packaging and get your hair chalk ready. All we need to do is place our hair chalk in the empty package of school chalk. Easy peasy. This is done in seconds and we're all set to smuggle hair chalk in class. Experimenting with different hair colors is always so much fun. Let's make a couple of cotton candy highlights to the hair and see how the teacher reacts. The Earth! is unlike any other planet in the solar system due to a number of different ways. It's the only planet that has 21% oxygen. Earth is often called the blue planet. What's going on with that hair of yours? My hair? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. So Earth is often called the blue planet because it's covered 70% in water. Yes, 70% of Earth's surface is covered with oceans. It is the only planet in the solar... Something wrong? No.